This morning and in the weeks ahead, I am venturing beyond my usual confines, my comfort zone, to delve into a topic I admittedly lack extensive knowledge about. However, I am choosing to express myself from the depths of my heart, where my true understanding resides. I readily acknowledge my lack of expertise in this realm, yet, I firmly believe that qualification isn't a prerequisite, rather, it is a divine process of empowerment for those who are called. These forthcoming entries will serve as a series of reflections on my journey, intertwined with insights gathered from others concerning the twin flame relationship. Relationship. Additionally, I aim to provide a perspective from my male counterpart, my twin Rob. I am deeply appreciative of the wealth of knowledge and experiences shared by others in this field, which have offered invaluable insights and guidance. The term twin flame was unfamiliar to me until recently, stumbled upon during my exploration of soul connections while attempting to decipher the intuitive wisdom my heart held, yet my mind struggled to comprehend comprehend, therefore, I felt compelled to share our journey, spanning 16 months, in the hopes of both sharing our experiences, and gaining further insights. Having traversed through the initial stages of bliss and into the realities of stage 3, where individuals will intersect, we find ourselves presently navigating stage 4. This initial entry may be lengthier than subsequent ones, as I aim to provide a foundational understanding of twin flame relationships. Contrary to popular belief, I've learned that such connections aren't devoid of imperfections, rather, they serve as catalysts for mutual growth and enlightenment. Synchronicities act as guiding beacons, prompting both individuals to embark on inner journeys. However, whether one embraces this awakening or remains entrenched in the ego or shadow self, ultimately hinges on personal choice and willingness to pursue growth. The Phases Phase 1 – Recognition of Souls In this phase, both twins deeply recognize each other at a soul level feeling a profound sense of familiarity. Synchronous occurrences mark the union, while their heart chakras open, merging into a unified energy. Spiritual comprehension accelerates as the purpose of this phase is to activate the memory of each soul's life mission and elevate consciousness. Phase 2 – Initial meeting a glimpse of spiritual awakening Following the initial spiritual awakening, the ego begins to resurface. One or both twins may struggle to fit the relationship into conventional models of love, grappling with egoic desires and learned beliefs. Phase 3 – Crisis and Karmic Resolution This phase entails confronting egoic beliefs about love and relationships. The twin faces the choice of shedding identity-based desires to embrace a higher form of love, which may evoke fear and trigger emotional patterns. Through presence and awareness, these patterns can be witnessed, released, and healed. Phase 4 – The Runner the human ego resists the unified consciousness within the twin flame union, leading to emotional turmoil and withdrawal. Deep pain and feelings of rejection emerge, prompting one or both twins to retreat. The purpose of this phase is to propel both individuals towards spiritual healing and growth. Phase 5 – Surrender in this stage, the direction of the relationship is surrendered to a higher power, trusting in divine protection. Both twins must reach illumination to harmonize physically. The purpose is to release ego, foster communication with the divine, and demonstrate trust in divine timing. Phase 6 – Self-Realization Illumination – Radiance The surrendered twin reaches maturity emotionally, mentally, and spiritually, gaining new creative and healing abilities. The purpose is to emanate divine love, uplifting humanity through one's actions and vibrations. Phase 7 – Harmonization. At this stage, both twins awaken fully and come together physically to integrate their evolved energies. They embody unconditional love, influencing others toward heart opening. The purpose is to fulfill the mission of the twin flame union, embodying unconditional love and eternal bliss. In October 2012, my twin flame unexpectedly appeared, sparking an instant and unparalleled soul connection. 
Serendipitous events and synchronicities unfolded, with the recurring appearance of the number 1111 adding to the mystique. There was a profound sense of familiarity, as though we had encountered each other in a previous existence, our love blossomed even before our first physical meeting, and when we finally came face to face, it felt like a cosmic convergence, or as Rob fondly describes it, a cosmic unison. My rational mind struggled to comprehend the profound shift that had occurred, realizing that the universe seemed to be orchestrating events beyond my control, unfolding rapidly and leaving me in disbelief. Curiously, a psychic reading on January 27, 2012, which incidentally was Rob's birthday, had foretold significant changes in my life, including the arrival of someone extraordinary, who would propel me into uncharted dimensions. The description included details such as a crisp white shirt, the scent of exquisite cologne, and a tall, handsome demeanor. Remarkably, this prediction manifested precisely 10 months later, although Rob humorously contests the attire aspect, interpreting it more as a metaphorical reference to his professional background. Nonetheless, we share a light-hearted chuckle over the discrepancy. Love had always been synonymous with loss for me, making me cautious about surrendering to its embrace. Eventually, I relinquished my doubts and allowed my heart to guide me unreservedly. In the months leading up to our reunion, it felt as though the universe was aligning circumstances, meticulously preparing the path for our union. We engaged in profound discussions about weariness and the imperative of getting things right, both sensing that this lifetime held profound significance, and that our souls were ancient and wise. While past life regression hadn't confirmed this belief, an inherent knowingness resonated within me. Our journey together has been a tapestry of beauty and occasional challenges. Despite the ups and downs, our commitment to each other remains unwavering, anchored on a solid foundation. As we eagerly anticipate how God intends to utilize our connection, we stand prepared, willing, and open to whatever lies ahead.